It was a rescue that captured the imagination of the nation coming hot on the heels of the tragic death of Wally the Whale in the Thames estuary. The freeing of Mara the Dolphin from Maryport Harbour was big news. attempt to save the whales on the River Thames. Well, that is what we're talking about went on here. Now, this morning came news that if something wasn't done here to try to save Mara, then he was going to die. About a mile or so offshore, at least eight metres of water underneath us, off and away, breached a few times, and met up with the second dolphin, which is brilliant, and headed into deeper water. So today we're launching a new rescue boat, which is a Tornado Rigid Inflatable. We have a need for a boat in this area because the local group have been extremely busy rescuing seals, dolphins and whales. Um, and we basically, just off the rocks of St Michael's Mount, we had a, a minky whale here recently. We've got a beach minky whale on the rocks at uh, Long Rock, Penzance. Um, it's around about five metres in length. Some superficial wounds to the underside of the tail flew. We're currently waiting for the tide to rise a little higher so that we can get the, um, the pontoon underneath the whale. The plan then is to try and get it into about waist deep water, a little closer to shore, uh, let it rest on the pontoon and let the vets um, assess its condition to see whether it's viable for a refloat later on.